Hello, welcome back to Uncle Buck's Garage. Today, I wanted to fire that one off, but I made the wife promise if she ever went back to drag racing and we we're going to drive this and she's going to drive, it had to be turnkey. That means no pumping it, no rubbing the heel, no turning switches on, no nothing. So turnkey. So what's the first thing I checked was the key on the column. And it ain't working. The key, the cylinder, there's a key broke off in the cylinder and the key that I got with it, which I hadn't tried because I hadn't had need to. It's messed up. So we're going to do a key cylinder in the steering column on the 78. Let's get to it. Well, the first thing you got to do is you have to take the steering wheel off, which this was pretty easy because all it was on there was the nut okay but this would normally have a nut a horn mechanism and a stop bar what i call a stop plate which is the metal the black metal plate that you guys have all seen it's got the cutouts in it well that's for this that's for this piece this piece right here that is when the cylinder is all the way back to the lock this protrudes and locks that plate in place to keep the steering wheel from moving which we're going to make sure that that works i'll show you the mechanism on that one well well i got it off i will give you in here okay let me get you some light all right we'll get some light all right now that is the mechanism for that right there that is just a plastic cam that the end of the turn the end of the cylinder goes on to and that works when you turn the cylinder to start it that depresses and holds that down so the steering wheel can turn okay got to have that little plastic piece in there the next thing is this is your turn signal mechanism this passes through the housing and bolts into this slot right here that's why i have this screw put back in place because that one's hard to find. If you lose that, you're kind of SOL. And the rest of this just bolts in place. This right here is your horn button. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Which I probably won't have one on there. Yeah, I know. Quit your bitching. And then you have the other thing you have right here is you have that is your emergency flasher piece. And then there's three screws that hold this in place. Now, this has got... You don't be scared of this because this has plenty of lead. It goes all the way back here in the back and hooks in right here. And it's got plenty of it's got plenty of slack in it where you can get this out of your way. Okay. Here's the beefy part of the whole thing. Is that 73 through 78 models, you are gonna need it's some light. All right, 73 to 78 models, you are going to need to slip in right here into this slot right here, this one back here, this slot right here, not this one, but this slot back here. And I'll show you why. This is why, but more specifically, this is why that goes into that slot that goes into that slot and hooks it slides in and it hooks and opens in that slot okay now here's the thing is that you gotta get back in there about a half an inch all right and it's very specific it's got a very specific size you can't get that with a screwdriver and you're going to have to find something to fit in that slot to grab a hold and compress that like that to let it release. Okay. It's really a dumb design. I would like to just have five minutes in the locked room with the guy that designed this because like 79 to 87 and up and even older, they come with a ridge with a slot cut through them, which would be this, just a bolt that goes through and locks it into place instead of this 
asinine tab, but I made the wife promise we're going to put it back like it was. All right, so what I had to do was I've actually found this is just an old piece of blade, and I used uh, alligator an alligator vice grips to slide it in just like this and depress that cylinder and it popped right out but i worked on that sucker and okay it's got to go in there deep enough i would say it went in there about that deep now that's very very thin let me get now that is very very thin let me get you We'll just get to see how thin that is. That is very, very thin. That's just a thin piece of metal. And I got lucky that that actually fit in that slot. It doesn't have much room. I would have probably might have had to ground on that a little bit, but I didn't have to, but it worked. Okay, so like a end of an old hacksaw blade, which is what that is. I just cut it off and I filed it with the bench grinder until it was flat. Hey, since you're here and you're watching, like, share, subscribe, smash that bell. And if you get an opportunity, check out the merch store down below. And I'm gonna keep that for the rest of my life because if I'm gonna work on these old trucks, that's going in the must have toolbox right there. Your orientation, you just gotta remember your orientation of your lock cam, that's your lock cam. Okay, so it's straight up and down. So this is a straight up and down, right? See it? And that goes into that slot and that goes in here. So your lock cylinder, that little piece right there to your lock, that's your lineup, okay? And we're just gonna wiggle her in. Boom. Boom. That's off one click. That plastic cam inside for this is off a click. So now we're going to take our little tool. And we're going to pop her back out. Okay, so basically the little cam gear that's in here for this button was actually one tooth off so it wouldn't let it lock all the way back with the lock cylinder but now we're good okay so that part's done now it's just a matter of putting it back together again and the easiest part is just this boom it just goes it's only got one way it can go it'll only fit in one way and you put a couple screws in there there's three there's one here one here up here and there's one here and these don't have to be super tight they just got to be in there okay you ain't got to put the stairway jerk on these and then this one right here the one that we save back in the hole is what goes with the turn signal boom and just bolts up and turn signal just bolts up right there and you just see this again you don't have to put a super super tight on this and then we want to check our acti activation. Boom. Left, off, right. Boom. 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 Okay. Then the last thing is. Okay. Now, if you want to continue this, where we go, we would go with. This, that's your button ring. Then this is what I was speaking of. This is the lock cylinder. Now this has a specific, you have to hook it around the plastic around, but this goes on the shaft and there's actually a spring, uh, that's a clip that's supposed to go in there. You're supposed to compress this. Actually, it's probably on here backwards. Oh, we could do it like this, like that, anyways, but 
like I said, this is designed for that lug when you're locked up to keep the steering wheel from being able to move when you're in here. And then there's always there's the dust cover. And that one you can you can it only goes on one way. And you just press in, just clips on to the and then you can put a steering wheel. Now I'm not gonna put a steering wheel on right now because I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to redo the one that was already on it because it's actually in pretty good shape or buy a new one so yeah let's bleep it down there tell me what you think i should do so this is remember what i was talking about the the little cam inside here that moves that little stub that keeps clocked in see when you start it up and you're running and you're on run it's depressed and you can turn the steering wheel and when you come in lock it you pull the key lock steering wheel in place anti-theft device all right but that's about it but i will say that thing i would pay real money to spend five minutes in a locked closet with the guy that designed this i really would but with a little bit of ingenuity like so with your little tool slide in there to press that thing you can get her done. So if you're still here, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Oh, by the way, check out the merch store down below. Uh, help support the channel. Y'all have a great day. Because a great day today could mean new lock cylinder in the morning. Y'all be good.